Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to talk about how you can discern your true self from the ego self because it can be confusing at times. And I'm going to take you along with my day as I make this discovery um, within myself and I kind of take you along for the whole process. So today what's going on, I just got back from the gym and I'm going to go get my phone fixed. I dropped my phone the other day. It was one of those things where you know, things happen in our life all the time, but sometimes things tend to stick out at us. That's how I personally experience a synchronicity. It's, it's a, it's a, yeah, you see 1111. It's not right there, 1133. <laughs> it's not just that you see numbers in a repetitive way and your mind decides, oh, that's ironic or that's synchronistic. It's more like there's an energy about it. There's an en energy about the 1111 that just kind of pops out and blinks out at me like my whole life freezes for a split second and I'm like temporarily in the now with that 11-11 and it's like oh, it's an experience I have that exact experience on the flip side not with nice cozy confirming things like 11-11 I get those that same experience with like dropping my phone and shattering the glass it was it was like that and sometimes I find that I track things into my life to show me a lot of different lessons, but this one in particular had to had to, was telling me where I'm resisting, where my life is wanting to sort of take me, and by framing it in the way my life is wanting to take me, that also is synonymous with where's best to go, the next path to go down, which is going to be the best path for me. It's it's something I carved out for myself and it's ready to go down, but because I have things in my life that are in place, mostly beliefs, they are kind of keeping me locked into a particular frame of, uh, like a, a particular um, loop, and it's causing me to sort of not go down this path. And sometimes I'll attract annoying little scenarios like dropping my phone as a way to kind of wake, to shake me up and say, dude, you resisting. So in my case, I'm resisting this new YouTube format. I had a, a framework that was working beautifully for a time, but now it's no longer relevant, and that's becoming very obvious to me. And whenever I like think about, like, what is the message here, man? Well, what's the deal? It's always like comes back to like daily vlogs, daily vlogs, daily vlogs. But I have these beliefs that say, no, that, you know, different things that go, go through my head, they're kind of blocking it. And again, I'm so ingrained to do my videos a certain way that it's just not happening. So the longer I resist, the more shit like this is going <laughs> to happen. But I'm, I'm embracing the change now. We'll see how it goes. I bet life goes more smoothly, at least for a time in relation to this, because I'm kind of yielding to where my life wants to take me. It's funny. I'm going to get my phone fixed and I was just thinking you know they recommend to back up your phone before you do anything like this and I never do I never really take those sort of precautions um, I realize it's something that might be seen as naive and careless but to me I believe in the law of attraction and I'm an optimist and I tend to have a lot of luck in that regard it's funny I was just thinking about that you know and then as I, started, as I had those, those thoughts, I turned like left into this area. I saw a sign stuck out to me. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's see, I'll uh, adjust it. Big sign that just says psychic. In a place I would have never expected to see it. I'm in like a, like a, like an outdoor mall. I wouldn't think they'd have a psychic place, but look. I always find it fascinating how simple, mundane, little day-to-day -day tasks can, that are out of the ordinary, out of the routine, out of your routine, tend to open you up to so much, man. Um, you know, most of us are creatures of habit. We like our predictable and safe little routine, and even something as small as going and getting my phone fixed at this Apple store that I've never been to, I've never been to this this like outside mall before. Um, can be like I just don't want to do it, you know. But having done that. I just had so much, uh, I had a lot of little like personal breakthroughs just by doing this. I went into Barnes and Nobles and just the music that was being played and the books that would catch my eye just happened to be very relevant to where I'm at in my life. Um, and it was just very helpful. It was a time of a lot of epiphanies 
At one point, I had to wait for my my phone to get fixed, and I came out and sat in my car after playing around in Barnes and Nobles for a while, and I did a little automatic writing on my laptop. Um, and I do this sometimes. It's something anybody can do. I teach all my clients how to do it. Um, but it doesn't work all the time because sometimes it's just not quite ready. It's just not, you're just not quite ready to have that breakthrough. But today I was, I had like five questions. They all sort of, uh, blended into one another, you know, themes I've been dealing with and it just came through so clear and so crisp. And again, it was sort of in sync with what I was getting at the Barnes and Noble and whatnot. And it was just like, I feel very excited, very like happy and uplifted on uh, this next chapter in my life. What I've been experiencing is exactly what I talked about in uh, today, which is yesterday for you guys. Yesterday's energy report, I talked about the glass ceiling. I, 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 again, there's been a theme. I've been, I getting, I'm getting to like a threshold in my YouTube channel where I'm starting, I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything, but I'm not a little guy anymore and people are starting to view me differently. And it's just, everything's kind of coming on real fast. And then it's, it's getting to the point where I, I as I go forward, I know, it's gonna, I sense that it's just gonna continue to grow very quickly. And um, and then all these different beliefs are coming up within myself about like being recognized in the, in the public eye. Um, this must be an egotistical thing of yours, Vic. You, you, who are you to be doing this? All these like self doubts are kind of uh, being triggered up. And it clicked to me today in my automatic writing where they came from exactly. It's It's funny how these things can work out. But I believe that the self-doubt I have and pertain to this comes from like uh, what I sensed my parents thought about me. So I sort of, um, their attitudes towards me, like I could tell they had a lot of worry about when I got hit by this fire. I, for those of you who don't know, when I was a little kid, I was hit by this firecracker and it really messed me up. It was a big, or, big ordeal. I had scars on my body. I still do. And it was a very intense thing for me. And I had to go to, there was time when I was in school and I had to wear these really dorky looking like nylons. It looked like pantyhose. I had to wear them all over my body. And it was a freaking nightmare being like 10 years old. And my parents, they had this guilt about it. They feared like they, they felt like there's something they could have done to help me avoid it and stuff, but there wasn't. Um, but I, I know that a lot of the, the decisions that I made in life um, they had in the back of their mind, like he must be doing this to make up for the insecurity. They thought that, they thought I ran off with a bad crowd and started partying all the time because I was a lost soul due to the firework incident and, and just looking to like um, do anything it took to become popular because I needed that to feel good about myself. But I just, I just wanted to party. It wasn't, it wasn't about that. But because they thought that, even my neighbors, everyone kind of thought that. And at the time I didn't know it, but that, that just sort of seeped into me. So now with my YouTube channel, is, is I have these like, these like faint ideas. Like, are you doing this just to be popular? Do you need to be liked by everyone? Are you doing this just to be cool? Just to be well known? Why do you want to become famous? Why do you want to, why do you have these big aspirations sort of thing? And then, but they seem very real. And I, so they've been manifesting in my own hesitation and everything I do, everything I say, there's like this hesitation. And I realize that I don't actually think that. I know the truth. I'm doing what I'm doing now because it's what I wanna do. I don't have a motive. I don't have like a reason so much for doing the YouTube thing, for following this energy. It's just, I had this creative expression in myself and I have found that it can express be uh, let out and released in these YouTube videos. And whatever happens, happens. I'm not looking to become cool and famous. Those aren't, this, it's not an egotistical endeavor for me, but I thought it was, and it was manifesting in blockages for myself. Anyway, all this happened within the last couple hours, getting my phone fixed, wandering around Barnes and Noble, taking a five minute trip and busting out the, my own personal why meditation, which I always teach people, um, and my automatic writing. And I, and I, man, these freaking massive epiphanies. I was reminded that I actually want, I actually do think big. I have big goals, big dreams. And it's not because I'm looking for anything on an ego level, it's just kind of what's there. What, what's naturally going on inside of me, the organic passion of the spirit. And I'm not going to, to fight that anymore to the, to the best of my ability. 
And that's what these this last couple weeks have been about for me. That's kind of been the underlying theme that sort of culminated just now. Funny, real quick, I just wanted to share. It's uh, it's interesting. As I mentioned, I just had these all these epiphanies about these this stuff I've been kind of dealing with. And what just happened to me is something I just, again, I want to share about real quick. So a lot of times when, you, when I make these, when I have these epiphanies, so, you know, prior to the epiphany, my synchronicity, my, my cyclical, site, you know, type of uh, events tended to be on the negative side. They were more projections of my, again, my misaligned beliefs, as I mentioned, dropping my phone, that kind of thing. But I, I made the shift just now, and now the synchronicities are just flooding in, sort of like reflecting my, who I really am. It's like I was shown who I was not. You are not the guy who's afraid to do YouTube. You're not the guy who's got all these insecurities. That's all conditioned. That's a conditioned little Victor who's still apparently alive to some extent. But you realize that. I've made the, the conscious discernment of me, the real me, the real I am, versus, again, the character Victor. And now that I like know, it, it's brought been brought clearly to my consciousness now right there 111 right there boom that's the length of this uh, video right there as I saw the synchronicities are just flooding in and it's awesome that's a very fun feeling it's it's it gives that's where the confirmations come in to say like yep now you're on the right track buddy and how do you really know what's a confirmation and what's not I'll tell you what's not a confirmation when you get like synchronicities and messages and patterns that make you feel like fear and anxiety and oh shit, oh, I don't like that, you know, uh oh. The, that's not you ever, rare, rarely, ever, almost never. Um, the synchronicities that come that make you go, yes, yes, oh man, yeah, now that's it, you know, make you feel good and excited and passionate and enthusiastic. Those are the, those are the signs you wanna listen to. You wanna let those signs be your compass rather than the fearful projections and predictions that can seem like guidance because it comes in those same repetitive patterns. But again, oftentimes, most of the time, that is, Again, just a reflection of your ego. Okay, folks, that's it. Have a good night. I mean, I got some uh, important business to attend to, right, buddy? Gonna play some ball in the field here. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. You might be surprised at how far this kid can actually go like this. <laughs> Gotta go. He's so fast.